Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Big Films 39 and today we're unboxing the Hellboy Best Buy exclusive uh, Project Pop Art Limited Edition Blu-ray Steelbook. Um, don't know when this Steelbook originally was released, but I recently picked it up just a week ago um, only because they had a buy one get one free promotion going on only online. Um, saw the steelbook and it was actually the first time I think I've ever seen uh, this particular steelbook. Um, and Hellboy uh, was one of my childhood favorite movies. I own the DVD, still do, and I probably watched that thing about five to ten times within one year at one point, uh, which is a ton for me, and maybe watched it more. But um, Loved the original Hellboy movie. Well, I shouldn't say loved it, but I was always very intrigued by it. I liked, you know, all the different creatures, uh, or that one fish dude, and then the the uh, pyro uh, kinesis girl. Um, a fun, different comic book uh, movie um, that I'd never owned on any. Uh, I never owned a, a Blu-ray version of it, so picked up the Steelbook and it was buy one get one free. Uh, this was like $12.99 I think, um, and then I was able to get a, a $9.99 movie for free. I picked up Air Force One, which is a great action movie that I only saw for the first time a year ago, uh, which I know is crazy, but um, yeah, I got two great movies for uh, the price of one, and I, one of them was a pretty cool Steelbook. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool looking steelbook. Uh, the one thing I'll say about this uh, artwork here is like, where are the dude's arms? Um, I mean, are these supposed to be his arms right here, like inside the coat? Because that's that looks strange. I'm kind of seeing like armholes here where his arms should come out. You know, Hellboy's a buff dude, so. Uh, that would have been cool to uh, put his uh, it was big arms on display, but I don't know. I don't like that. And then where's where's the guy's tail? This guy has like a a devil's tail, right, with a little tip, or am I just imagining that? I thought he had a tail, but if he does, why is it not here? And if he doesn't have a tail, then I'm just an idiot. But anyways. Um, Let's see what we got in the way of uh, special features. I do a commentary with director Guillermo del Toro, Hellboy, The Seeds of Creation documentary, deleted scenes with optimal director's commentary, visual effects, how-tos, makeup and lighting tests, Scott McCloud's Guide to Understanding Comics. And then uh, the runtime is, uh, let's see if I can, uh, there it is, 132 minutes. Uh, this thing is, uh, well, the Blu-ray is region free, and the film is, it is unrated. All right, um, and then, where was, uh, everyone always asks, asks, excuse me, asks about the audio after the fact, so let's take a look at it, uh, English, German, French... And then uh, it looks like we got a ton of subtitles. English, French, Arabic, Czech, Dutch, German, Greek, Croatian, Bulgarian, Korean, Polish, Turkish, Romanian. Oh my goodness. Hungarian, Slovene. Something for everyone there. So no matter who you are, uh, whatever part of the world you are in, you will uh, be able to watch this movie with subtitles in your native language. All right. So let's open it up. Uh, Steelbook's more of a, a copper, kind of a copper brown, kind of a very dark pale red, not a bright red. Um, matte finish, nothing embossed which I don't like. I always prefer gloss finish. I think it's a million times better. And I think matte finish on uh, steel books or like 
I just opened up the Pinocchio Digibook. Matt Finish is just inexcusable at this point. No one likes it. We don't want it. Um, it's just, it comes off as cheap and lazy. Give us gloss finish for everything. All right, and Hellboy, it's the director's cut, I guess. I didn't, I wasn't aware of that. Um, I already know it's unrated, but we get a little bit of discard. I don't know what the hell that is. Is that like the train station, I think? And internal artwork, you got nothing. Just more of that copper color. Um, well, that seems to be it for uh, the Hellboy Steelbook. I still, I like the artwork, the kind of pop artiness of it, but um, where are his arms and where is his tail if he does have one? But anyways, guys, that is it for this unboxing. Thank you for watching. And um, if you want to check out the uh, Pinocchio uh, Target Digibook, I'll link that in the description along with, um, I don't know, maybe some uh, comic book movies, comic book steel books, some uh, other unboxings uh, of editions of movies that I like. Um, I will link those in the description. So check those out. But um, thank you guys for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.